video real quick, I'm going to touch base on uh, one of the biggest supplements in the supplement business that I think has the one of the, the biggest misconceptions by a lot of people. And the reason why I'm going to bring this up is because I, I hear a lot of people talk about it and, it, and, it, and it's kind of puzzling to me. Well, I can, I can actually kind of understand, I guess, where some of the misconceptions are taking place. So I'm just going to go ahead and shed some light on the situation, and that is protein shakes, okay? There's a lot of people, and they're like, well, you know, I need, I need a protein shake, you know, I, I this one, you know, I got this, this new protein, you know, it's got, it's got the, the, the pump derivative in it, it's got the infused cold filter technology that's been scientifically proven to, your muscles are forced to absorb the nutrients and it makes you 20 times bigger overnight. Look, here's a, here's a fact about protein, okay? And I, I used to be an engineer, so I, I have a little bit of an understanding with, with, with the way the, the process works, okay? Protein, history lesson, protein powder is, is a byproduct of whey, okay? Or whey is actually a byproduct of converting milk into cheese, okay? It used to be thrown out. They used to just be a byproduct that they used to just dump down the drain before they figured out that they could sell it and market it, okay? Whey has a high protein content. Okay, and, and what they do is you have to filter the lactose out of that way in order to separate it from the protein. And the way they do that is they pump it through a membrane. A high pressure pump pumps that through a membrane and it filters out the lactose. And that's what you don't want that lactose, you want the, the, the protein. Okay, after that's done, I don't know what the hell else they could do to that damn protein to make it any better than the one to the left of it. I mean, you can flavor it, and, and, and that's what they do. You get a powder that is that is raw protein concentrate, you know, de de depending on what percentage it tests out to, and then you flavor it. You have your additive, so it, so it mixes, and you, and you flavor it. After that, what the hell else can you do to this protein? I mean... To, there, there's, I mean, all these claims that a lot of these companies are making about these new proteins, guys, I don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I don't understand how you're going to micro-infuse the cells in the protein and re-engineer the protein to where it, you know, it, it, it was more absorption, it, it, it takes place when during digestion and all this shit and then charge $60 a bag for it. I, I don't understand how that's possible. I don't. I don't understand the science behind you got something, you know, you've got your protein that's been filtered. After that, it is what it is. An apple's an apple. Fuck. I don't understand how you can do all these different molecular, uh, you know, uh, bio, uh, bio freaking, uh, you know, cross goddamn uh, reverse engineer the cells or whatever the hell they're talking about on these damn ads. I'm just totally clueless. Um, don't fall victim to it, guys. Um, to be honest with you, I mean, and this is my opinion, your, your best protein source is going to be in your diet. Period. End of story. Don't be concerned with a protein shake. A protein shake could be something that you incorporate maybe, you know, once, possibly twice a day at the most and to kind of just, you know, hold you till your next meal or if, you know, you don't have time to prep a meal out or something. But don't use that as a staple to your diet. That is, that is, that is the, one of the biggest misconceptions people have, I think, in the fitness industry is they, they, they rely so heavily on these damn shakes. I mean, you got to shake for weight loss. You got to shake for muscle building. It's all the same shit. It's all the same shit. And some of these shakes, if you look on the back, things like... I mean, de depending on what they're made out of, like if, if, if it's a soy protein, well, shit, soy is cheaper than, than whey is. It's cheaper. So, you know, that tells you right there that, you know, a lot of these big companies, you know, especially with some of the, you know, the companies that are, that are more geared towards weight loss, they're putting the cheapest supplement out there that they possibly can. And what you're doing is basically paying them to starve yourself. And, oh, I lost all this weight. Well, Guess what? You could have done the same thing if you ate a banana three times a day and then had a meal. It's, it's, it's all bullshit. And 
and, and don't fall victim to it. Make sure your diet's in check. Don't don't slack on your diet. Go to get a Sam's Club card. Go and you know prep your meals out ahead of time. You know cook everything up and then you've got it ready to go. And then that way you're you know you're on top of your diet. You know what you're supposed to be eating. Um, I just wanted to touch base with that and just kind of you know shed some light on that situation. I I, I kind of know what I'm talking about. I you know I I formulated the the protein that we have. I, I, I made sure, you know, that it tasted good and everything, but I'm going to tell you right now, it's, it's way, it's way isolate and it's flavoring. That's all that's in those proteins, way isolate, way concentrate. The only difference is how much lactose is in it. That's the only difference. Okay, guys. So have a good one. Keep it in the weights. Later.